Many of us having difficulties in choosing a toothbrush while we are shopping. Are the bigger ones are better? Mm, maybe the wider ones? Or as long as possible? Mm, or maybe as hard as possible? Uh -huh. Just like the toilet brush at home. Maybe you can use those kind of brush to brush it cleaner. Perhaps? Hmm, the cheaper ones are better, such as those buy two free ones. <laughs> or a little pricey is fine because pricey means it's good quality. Is that correct? Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Singh. Today we are going to talk about how to choose a correct toothbrush for your children. Those commercial toothbrushes that you see regular in the markets are usually alright. As long as the head of toothbrush is small enough on this part, as long as it can reach to the most back area, then it is definitely okay. The bristle of the toothbrush should be thin and soft, which is able to reach every angle of the teeth. It should not be too thick or too hard, as those are not meant for the children at all. These biconcave area are easy for the children to grab onto it, so that they can hold it like this. Ever wonder why there's another concave on this area? So this concave area is the special features of toothbrush for the children. Children can brush for their teeth with it, at the same time, you can also help them to brush with it as well. But the way that you hold the toothbrush will be different compared to them. You are going to hold the toothbrush like holding a pen. Sometimes parents might notice there are labels on toothbrushes stating the appropriate age. Those are just a guide. It doesn't mean that you have to buy according to the age stated. It only tells you that the size of the head of the toothbrush whether more suitable in which age of range. However, if your child's adult teeth have come through sooner or a, is a late boomer or their teeth are smaller, then the appropriate age guide should not be followed. So always ask your dentist for a better guide. As long as the head of toothbrush can reach to the back areas as they can brush regularly and correctly, then that's all fine for them. I would recommend new parents to try this kind of 360 degree toothbrush. One of its benefits is every part of the surface can be used as a brush. It allows the parents to rotate the toothbrush to help children to brush their teeth. Uh, of course, when we are talking about rotations, it means that you are going to rotate the toothbrush in a circular motion and do it correctly, not blindly. This only is advantageous for your younger children not applicable for children above 5 because they still need a normal toothbrush to brush their teeth. Another extra point is that this 360 degrees toothbrush also helps children with special needs such as autistic children, such as Down syndrome, or etc. Young children may want to learn to brush their teeth but they are not able to hold the toothbrush properly due to the early development of dexterity. So this could be used as a stepping stone to learn how to brush their teeth. Some mothers might ask me, if I do not want to use these two types of toothbrush, is it okay for me to use this type of silicone brush? Well, personally, I don't really like it. Yes, you can always use it, but I think I'm not a person who like it because due to the effectiveness, as you can't brush properly with it, because you can see the tough is made by the silicone and it might not reach those tiny areas. Although some people might think that it is convenient to brush it well, but I myself think when I'm choosing a toothbrush for babies for children with a few teeth, these two brushes are more suitable. So you don't really need to think about the silicone. Alright, that's all for today. Bye!